Welcome back, everybody. This is Daniel, and we're going to start this match between Craig Powers and James Richards in Flight E. This is our third match of the day. And James Richards is a new face for me. I've never uh, seen him before. I don't know much about him. But he is going to win the lag against Craig Powers, who played very well last year in the amateur event at this venue. And James is going to choose the white. Craig will play the yellow. So enjoy this match, folks. Mm. You, you want to join me in commentary? Walk around this. There we go. Oh, we'll be joined by uh, somebody else in the commentary. Please have a seat. the pleasure of being joined by Robert Hovick. G G Geraldine maybe can assist you if you if you're having any issues. So I have the pleasure of being joined by Robert Hovick. Hi Robert, how are you? Hi, I'm pretty good. Thanks. Uh, first off, I just want to thank you for coming and participating in this event. Really, you know, really nice to see new faces here. And uh, one of the reasons we have you here now is because I don't really know James. Right. These these two fellas are very good friends. They're from the same city, <coughs> from Milwaukee. Okay. Play together, play play billiards against each other, uh, routinely at least at least a couple times a month, maybe more than that. At a place called Row Mines ah, in I Milwaukee. See. Okay. It's, a, it's an old, old pool hall. Well, that's useful information. So they're not going to be. Uh, they probably go back and forth, don't they? They're actually really very close in in their averages and their ratings. So it's going to be close. It's going to be a good match. So I'll ask you then, <coughs> who do you like? actually uh, James actually has been playing billiards for longer than Craig uh, Craig was a champion pocket pool player mm -hmm. uh, most of his life and, and just recently at uh, a BCA pocket pool tournament in uh, Las Vegas he won the platinum division eight ball championship oh. yeah and came in second in the nine ball <laughs> Wow so uh, so he's a pool player who plays outstanding billiards also. Mm, yeah, well, we learned that last year when Craig placed very high in the uh, in the event here last year. Yeah, they're both skilled, real skilled players. And, and uh, can average over one uh, on a good day for sure. Mm -hmm. James just played a very good shot here. Oh, Looks yeah. Looks like yeah. he's going to get there. Yeah, he, he just won a tournament up in Duluth Superior, uh, a 10-person, three-cushion tournament. Well, then I would say he might be in stroke. Yeah, he, he, he actually beat me up pretty good up there when I played. Looks like he's going to play off the red. Come yeah, off James, the James James uh, is very knowledgeable and comes up with uh, creative creative shots. That was a natural, but 
And he hit it perfect. He did perfect speed, perfect spin. And when he's on, he's, he can fire the balls. He looks on right now. <laughs> he, 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 he is, I believe, yeah. He's, f he's feeling he likes, the, he likes the speed of these tables. And it's new cloth and beautiful, beautiful Gabriels. Uh, you're, you're enjoying the equipment here then. Uh, I'll take it. Uh, yep, yep. Oh, sure. that was sweet. Yeah. Jeez. Both both of these players too uh, have uh, suffered some physical ailments in the last last uh, couple of years uh, with have they? with back issues yeah severe oh. severe back issues sure sure that's not easy you know when you're when you play Q sports I've always been of the uh, you know mind that uh, Q sports actually helps your back. <laughs> Yeah, it definitely helps your mind. Uh, I think if you can, if you can, if you can play pool and billiards, and uh, you you build a strong, a strong mind. You build a uh, an ability to work through things that are are not all that are are a little stressful, really. Uh, that's actually one reason why Craig plays three cushion billiards. He really. He says that it makes him utilize his brain, oh, yeah. and he enjoys the, the camaraderie oh, that yeah. these tournaments bring. Yeah. Yeah, you can you can find Craig pretty much four or five days a week down at Romines on the billiard tables. They've got some Solgard heated tables there that play great. Well, you know, when you when you get to retire like he does, <laughs> you know, you, you get a little more time to play. You know, he. <laughs> Worked for many years with the UPS and retired. And uh, he plays, yeah, plays. He says he plays around three days a week. Yeah, I think it's more than that. <laughs> and it's and it's all day when yeah. he's there. You know. <laughs> all right. So what do you like here? It's like it's a little bit kissy this shot, isn't it? Yeah, just a natural. It's just he's going to come tight out of this bottom corner here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I played both of these fellas in Milwaukee about three years ago when I start when I started playing billiards. They both are both are gentlemen for sure. Oh, look at this! It's a little yeah. little short. Oh, yeah, yeah that was a nice he, try. He was trying to avoid the kiss. That's yeah, what he did. Yeah, and he did. Yeah. Some of the better players will will say that that's just avoiding the kiss sometimes is an excellent shot. Yes. Whether yeah. you actually no, I agree. make I the agree. point or not, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Speaking of kiss, yeah. well, that one was it's just fraught it's with it's peril. That yeah, shot. It's strange how you, you, when you're looking at a shot like that, you think to yourself, well, there's a kiss here. Maybe yeah, but maybe but, but, but maybe, maybe I can do it anyway, right? Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's human. You know, we're all human. Yeah. Even though we're trying to train ourselves not to be. Yeah. Oh. And that was an extreme draw shot. Huh? Yeah. And I didn't quite get enough draw. But that was very, very close. It doesn't look that way on the on the game, but it's it was a close shot. Didn't miss it by more than an inch. I think Craig has a good opportunity here. He can either he can come off the right or the left side of this white and uh yeah, oh, no no no. Yeah, that ball looped a little bit. Yeah, it did, didn't it? Yeah, not enough. Needed to loop more. You're yeah. not happy with that yet. I think he's. I think he's just. Uh, He'll forget that right away, though. Yeah, he's. <laughs> he's just. I think there's a little nerves going on. Maybe. Sure. Sure. 
not necessarily against James, but you know, just being on camera I, sometimes I, does that. I got you. Well, he can play off the white, off the red. He's got uh, several options here. What do you like? What are you comfortable with? Oh boy, I like yeah. this. Sh I like this shot. Play off the left side of the red. Yep, I agree. Uh, that's about the most natural you yeah. you would want to uh, hit this. It's going to be uh, long. Yeah, he could be a little bit tight. First match. Yeah, He's always yeah, that just way. the jitters. Not the pool no. or billiards or anything. It's sure. You just you gotta get look at that arm loosened up a little bit. You gotta breathe. You gotta breathe. You have to breathe. <laughs> you have to breathe. <laughs> and focus. And breathe breath. and focus, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I find myself holding my breath once in a while. It's no good. You know, I I hear a lot of billiard players tell me uh, that uh, instead of a aiming for the first rail, they they aim for the second cushion. You know, you oh know yeah. what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah. Whatever you suits you personally. Yeah. You know how how you mm -hmm. feel, and and then the particular shot, how you feel about that shot. Mm -hmm. um, Is it a shot you're comfortable with that you've shot many times, yeah. or is it something? Because there's a what? How many possible shots? Lays of the ball on the yeah. table. Thousands. And then you have to think of position to you know as as you get better at this game you start to fine tune. Yeah. And yeah. Your 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 choices change because you uh, you start to realize position in a different way. <laughs> yeah, very true. Well, the innings are racking up here. James has a, a one average so far in this match. Yeah, if these if, if these two average can average one, that's that's the probably the top of their yeah. of their uh, individual ability. Right. Uh, so that's a good that's a good game. It's tough coming out side to side. You watch if if if, J if James gets gets any Z bank type of billiards, how how skilled he is at that. I see. He okay. is. Yeah. There's little fortes with each of these guys, and Craig is. Craig, Craig really likes the. The five rail, seven rail back out shots and uh, the short hits on the five railers. And I suppose, even though they've come look all this, this way. Look at this time yeah. shot. Oh, no. No, yeah. it's not going to happen. Oh. But I was going to say, I suppose, uh, for their sake, you know, coming all this way, uh, it's kind of fortunate that they're playing each other because they... they they know, they know what they're getting into. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So it's a good first match for both of them. Yeah. James drove. He has a, a sleeping van that he. Oh. A very very nice, very upscale sleeping van that he takes everywhere to all the tournaments he goes to. He stays in that. He drove straight here. Okay. He said, except for a storm in Oklahoma. He's got to worry about the uh, yellow here. He, he avoided the yellow. Oh, yeah. And he just needs the speed now. Is he going to get there? What do you think, Robert? No. <laughs> no. Yeah. Notice the difference in the stances between these two players. Uh, uh, Craig is more upright, 
or above above the ball. James, is, his head is down a little bit lower. Well, is that dictated by the severity of whatever back pain they have? I, you know, Craig has always been an upright player like this. He plays, po plays pocket pools. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you would think that would be easier on his back, and it probably is. Yeah, nice natural here. It's a high percentage shot for James. Well, I don't want to get that short. Get a little help. Uh. <laughs> it giveth and taketh away. <laughs> right? It, it's funny that the passion the billiard players have for the game uh, uh, compared to pocket pool players that they like the game it's fun for them this and that but not too many would travel thousands of miles to win very little money <laughs> in the tournament <laughs> you know even the even the winner of the tournament uh, pays just pays for his trip probably so yeah. th there's there's passion for the game here with, with the amateurs. That was a nice try. Yeah. yeah. Inventive shot. That's that's what James is good at. He, he thinks outside the box a little bit with this game can surprise you, you know. He's coming off the fourth rail. I hit that nice. He's good. Yeah. Once he relaxes just a little bit, you see he'll he'll start stroking sure. a I little mean a little harder and not much harder but with more authority. We saw this today in our first match, uh Mickey Campbell like between that. Mickey Campbell and Ray Raskin, you know. Yeah. Ray was struggling in the uh, first portion of the match. He started to relax a little, caught up, and ended up beating Mickey. Yeah. Only by two points, but uh, yeah. still, that's... Mickey's a loose player. He that can, can sting. Yeah, he can, he can play. Plays out of the, the Q Club in Minneapolis. Mickey does. Contributes uh, contributes to the sport. Contributes to three cushion tournaments he goes to. Um, yeah, adding yeah. adding cash to the tournaments himself. Yeah, I did mention that earlier. Yeah, uh, guys like uh, Mickey Campbell, very very humble, very good for the sport, and also very very willing to uh, you know very generous. Nice, nice hit. Okay, here we go, James. Yeah. These guys are just a, a little bit below their average now, but close. But Jam, James can explode. They both can explode at any second and put five, six, seven billiards up there. I don't know what I would do here. Uh, he can force follow this uh, up to the end rail, the short rail, and two rails back into this corner. A lot of times when you do that, you oh, just, I see you, yeah. you you hit the ball direct then and right in the face, but yeah, but yeah. It, the weight is not right in the corner, so I think that's what he's going to do too. He's so. cutting it thin, I think. He's going to watch out for the kiss. No, oh, he's going to go for oh, six rail. Yeah. Oh, well, if he'd have gotten to that long rail, I think he might have he might have achieved that billiard. Might have, yeah. We don't know. We will never know. Oh, no, we <laughs> <don't>. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just like their attitudes, both of these players. They, they really have healthy attitudes mm -hmm. to the game, to 
billiards mm -hmm. and, and to the competition. They, they just do. They respect the heck out of each yeah. other. And most billiard players do, though. Congratulate other players for trying a yeah. difficult shot and not making it necessarily, but coming close. And I, I think that's what drew uh, drew me toward billiards a little bit. Was the it's it's like an automatic respect the other players have for uh -huh. the other billiard players mm -hmm. just because they play the game. I do notice that, and that it's also no matter your your skill level either. You know, there's still oh right, there's still right. a uh, a respect. There is a level there of there respect yeah, for each yeah. other. If you come closer on shots, guys will give you a round of applause for giving it a good good effort. Good try. And in fact, that this is this is one of the first times in the last couple of years where James hasn't been in in some type of physical pain when he's playing. I oh yeah, and and he kind of looks like it. He's not struggling with huh. limping around and. Yeah. <coughs> You know, you think of uh, athletes uh, playing and playing in pain, playing through pain in a lot of sports, they're tough sports, they're uh -huh. physical sports. But this this isn't a physical sport at all, and and yet that's a big factor. And and these guys, these guys will come to these tournaments when they're in a lot of discomfort and a lot of pain. Sure. And and you can't use medications and play pool, play mm. billiards. Because it fogs you up. You can't, yeah. you can't think. Maybe you don't feel the pain, but you can't think. And and they come and play anyhow. I in that last tournament in Rushville, Craig was uh, just just suffering, and I think he beat me twenty five to seven, oh, wow. twenty five to six, something like that. He just he had just love for the game. He plays through that pain. But they both look in pretty good shape, no. Not limping around or nothing. Reminds me of, um, you know, you, you talk about this, reminds me of uh, the Black Widow, Jeanette Lee. She's she's lived with scoliosis all of her life. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, can only, um, you know, I can't, I can't even imagine what... Uh, with living with that type of pain and playing, oh, you know, oh, yeah. playing every day is. Yeah, I, I have a friend that uh, was a pocket player, a lady that's had MS and has it for many, many years, and she plays through it. The medication for that stuff is really expensive too. <laughs> well, it's it's only it's MS. only getting higher too. They just apparently big oh. pharma just raised all their rates. <laughs> oh. Recently, that's anyway. so sad. Anyway. I digress. Sorry, folks. Oh, you know we we practiced last night uh, before the tables were heated. Uh -huh. <coughs> and, yeah. uh They're 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 just different right now, and I I don't think that practice helped anybody. <laughs> you know that's why it's a slow start for sure. these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they hit the balls on that. Uh, Cloth wasn't quite as slippery, quite as fast. Now it is. So they're just adjusting to it. Oh, we just tried, tried a banana there, and oh, wow, really so nice close. Track. Really it, nice track. It was I a mean, hard shot. The way that white reacted off the red, it looked like he was way off, but he yeah. actually, yeah. the spin kind of started to catch, yeah, didn't he it? He did that on purpose. He was, he's really good at that. I was going to say, you t mentioned Jeanette Lee, and of course every pool player in the world knows who she is, yeah. and billiard player too, for that matter. And, uh, Wisconsin just started their Wisconsin Hall of Fame. Oh, and yes, I, I'm aware of that. Yeah, for the first time, a few players from the state decided to get together and honor some of the, the, the better Wisconsin pool players. And 
uh, Jeanette Lee was one of the guest speakers at, uh, at, at that event. And she has just recently been in inducted. She in, was inducted about four years ago. I was yeah. there. Oh, I yeah. was there in Michigan. Yeah. She accepted uh, her award for the Hall of Fame. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. that's actually when she spoke a lot about her uh, her physical condition. Oh. It was uh, it was something to to witness, definitely. Yeah, yeah she just she just uh, congratulated all the people in Wisconsin for doing it, that kind of thing. And oh no, that was a nice shot. Oh, that was sweet. Yeah, just a pool shot, nice, right on the button. <laughs> you know, right on the button. That feels so good when you hit those like that. Well, you just you know that's uh, here's you know, another you, one. Exactly. The softer you hit that, the harder it is to shut to, right? In some cases. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's it's gonna go a little longer when you hit softer. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, he's 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 gonna catch a gear here, maybe. He's gotta watch the. So the red doesn't run into his object ball, but. Well, he'll. I think he'll draw yeah, off this. You're right. That's exactly what he's gonna do. He'll draw off into the long rail. Cut it thinner and yeah. draw it over there. Well, perfect. Right in the Whoa. face of the ball. You talked about, uh, you mentioned position and the, the better players, you know, thinking about that kind of thing. Yeah. And, and, and playing that first object ball to a spot that's likely a good spot after they make the billiard. And that's something I think you, as you play the game, it's not a, f a forefront thought in your mind because you're really concentrating more when you're learning on on making the billiard. And and the, the shape thing just kind of evolves. Does it? O over time, mm, for, mm, for, mm. for me, because I'm a beginner at billiards, it, and that's what I've noticed. It, it, uh, they're they're going to ask me about... I have him at 11, 3. Just a little... You keep uh, tally of that? I'm keeping there. tally of the score, yes. Glad they didn't ask me. I wasn't paying attention to how many he ran. He hit two direct, and then he played right that the nice draw shot. Yeah, and okay. then he played that nice draw shot, yeah. so that's three. Back to normal here. Craig... Uh, has found himself in a little bit of a hole in this match. He needs to. Yeah, the ball. The ball is. He's. He, that's not real comfortable with that. With the way the cue ball is reacting. Right now. Yeah. It's, it's. It's flattening out for him a little bit. That shot. Did you see what happened? The cue ball kind of flattened over it the did. long rail. It did. <clears throat> but he, he's thinking about it. He's got a little time here. James is just halfway. Better halfway, so he's organizing it, thinking about it. Coming off the yellow, yeah, right in the corner, real mm -hmm. tight, and maybe uh -oh. get a little look, break. Look, look, he ah. did get a break, didn't he? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> oh yeah. That happens. Oh yeah. We haven't seen a lot of uh, Sapo in uh, in today's play, even no. in the two matches prior to this. I think that's the first one I've seen today. Watch if you, if we can see on the stream James's right hand. And his uh, grasp of the cue stick, and how how he how 
he kind of babies the the last couple fingers of his right hand. Oh, does he? Uh, he's I'm, like a cradle, I'm, I'm like I'm cradling. Stick, yeah, and, and then he, and then he just when he makes contact, he kind of squeezes it. And kind of, he might be able to pick that up on his next shot. Mm. Where where Craig is, that's gonna be good. Just rocks and rolls that that's that stick in his palm of his hand, kind of. You open the door for Craig. Craig is walking through it. And that's a big deal in billiards, you know, where the, where your opponent leaves you. Well, if he's if coming you're, off if the you're red. playing difficult shots every time you get up there, you know, he's going to go long. Yeah, a little bit. It's a little tougher game. Some games they come easy. Other games you just fight it, you know. Mm -hmm. Trying to make things work. This, this is not an easy shot here. It's got a few options, but Craig's a little, little disgusted with himself. You could right go now. four rails off the right side of the red here, and and it might, if you go long, it might go six. You can do a natural four railer off the right side of the yellow wall. I don't, I don't see a lot else. Well, he can play a five railer around the table, but he's inventive. We'll see. That's a, that's a kissy shot, you know. Off the red? No, you don't see that. No, I think he's going to do a four rails off the right side of the yellow, on the inside of the red. Nope, four nope. rails off the red, tight in the corner and back. Good try, tough shot. So you see the, my, I watched the, uh, the top world players play out at the Verhoeven this year. And on that particular shot, if if, if one of those top pros were, were going to shoot that, you would have seen the difference in the speed. Mm right away they wouldn't have shot it that hard the speed would have been uh, smoother yeah and crisper kind of funny how soft you can the, those better players can hit the ball and still make it go a long way going direct here Funny, close doesn't mean anything in this game. Pocket pool, you can you can be close on a shot, and it'll still go. <laughs> Drop in the hole. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not here. Close is zero. Yeah, Craig is six for 18 innings. That's a bit low for him. Yeah, you can tell. He's not happy, but, you know. He's leaving it behind him, trying to. Yeah. Some stuff you want to get out of your head that's in there. Yeah, you know what I mean? he's just, <laughs> you know, I mean, it, it's nothing that we don't all go through, you know, battling with that negative uh, sort of oh, the negativity. He, he gets those shots so good. That ball just kind of stuns and spins. And James is playing well, so you know. I I would say there, if if these two guys played each other, a hundred times, a hundred times it'd be fifty to fifty <laughs> when they were done. Really, it 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 really would be. That's all evenly matched there. Look but at I, that I, shot. See that Z bank? What did I tell he you about that? Not, <laughs> he did not. He he wasn't <laughs> off one no. centimeter <laughs> there. He hits those so perfect. Yeah, he's he's ninety five percent of those sea banks. You called it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've played against both these guys a lot. From Wisconsin. 
He's playing uh, up table here off the oh, yellow. Yeah. This is a relatively easy shot, too. Yeah. If you practice it enough. Mm hmm. Just a feel kind of shot. Yeah. There's a chance to, to come up short often. Yeah. Watch this, the kiss once this in a while, too. And there's a kiss sometimes, yeah. yeah he's got he's it. good, though. He's oh, yeah. Good. It's a natural shot, really. Well, and Craig just didn't know which one of my shot that was. And uh, I think James can play off the red here. Yeah. And come around uh, three cushions yeah. direct to the yellow. Yeah, off the left side. Left side of the There's red. no fifth rail here, though, so he's either going to hit it or not. All right. All right. I concur. And it's a knot. Oh, wait. There might be a fifth rail. What it's am I talking one. about? Oh, my goodness. It's tough to see all the angles from where we are. Can, can you put a hair between those balls? <laughs> you yeah. couldn't fit a hair in there. We're hoping when we have the uh, tournament upcoming in the summertime here that... Uh, nice. We're hoping that we have an overhead camera. Oh. So we'll oh, be yeah. able to a little bit, you know, accurately see sure. what options are available a little bit better than we can now. Mm hmm. Got to go by intuition a little bit here now from where we are. Yeah. That's, that's a My turkey shot. My goodness. Yeah, Craig hit the yellow ball, but that's that's yeah. a that's a, that's a, that's a very difficult shot. That you know, see the amateurs really don't hit that right on the button, mm -hmm. where the pros will hit that shot, not miss it very often. Craig's probably, I mean, you know, he's having a little hard time sitting still because of. Uh, James's position in this match, only five points away from uh, the victory, the finish line, can make anyone nervous. Oh, look at that. That time he drew it over there. You gonna get extra two rails and no speed. Yeah. No, a little short. Let's see. Put a nice stroke on that, though. Mm. Didn't quite get there. But. You'll play this uh, off the uh, short rail? Or yeah. is he playing short natural? Rail, yeah, long short rail. rail. Short rail, long, long rail. Four rails around. Yeah. Hit very nice. Well, that white is pretty deep in the corner there, but uh, I believe Craig can come. He might let this fly five rails. Yeah, five drive. rails around the table. Yeah, he might drive. Or else off the left side of the red, come well, on six rails. He might play the same shot he just played, but you got to be careful there. you got to play it a little long. You see the shot? Yeah, two rails up in the corner and back down. He's playing it long. He got it, though. He played it long, and he you played know. it perfect. Yeah. A lot of times you see that hit the ball and hit go just go two rails, not hit that third rail. Yeah. On a run of two now. And oh, he's not happy with that He shot. might have help. He might have help. No. no. Oh, he's just not happy with himself on that shot. He really feels he should have made that. Last night he would have made that with before the tables were before heated. Before they were heated, oh, yeah. 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 It's too bad of shots uh, that haven't come up where they you, you kind of go two rails and go yeah. inside the ball, then hit the ball again and come back down the table because James is really good uh, at those shots. How do you too. like this, Robert? Do you like uh, <laughs> maybe rail first here, or do you like to play a ticky, ticky off yeah, the yellow? Yeah, yeah. I, he's he's going to go off the right side of the yellow rail first. 
Yeah. Um, yeah not not, to a, avoid not the kiss. a ticky. Yeah. No, 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 no. He didn't. He he went ticky, but but flush on the ball with four swallows. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he went to make to that ball go a little longer and mm -hmm. have no kiss on it. Craig's going to have to play a bank. Now, how do you like this? you like to come off the red first or off the white? Oh, he's not playing. Watch what he's going to do. He's ticking. Here. He's going to play the ticky. Oh, watch what he's going to do. Oh, that, that was, was nice. a thing of beauty. That was nice. Was that not nice? Oh, yeah. That was. That's going to fire him up. Hey, hey, I'm up. I'm oh, sick. Yeah. I got a cold. Good to see you, you know. People, people coming up to shake my hand. And I, <laughs> I just can't because I'm, I'm contagious. Yeah, you sound like you're a little stuffed up. I'm still a little, yeah. I should be okay in a day or two, I think. He just didn't end up real good there with a the shot. He, he made a great shot, ended up kind of stuck behind that object ball. Well, made a, made a billiard right there real difficult. Well, if James comes up short in the next couple of innings, um, it's definitely going to open the door for Craig. And you know, and I wouldn't doubt if that happens because they are they do play pretty even. Yeah. Craig's what he's betting about point five now, and James point seven five. So I don't know the way he's playing. You figured you figured James to make this shot. Yeah, you figured James to make this. I was wrong. Yeah, that the ball looped a little bit on him. And, uh, spin took. A lot of feel, really. You get used to the table. I mean, I'm, these guys, these guys, are about their third match in. They're gonna be playing better. All of them. Everybody here. Every, every one of these amateurs. You watch as as the progression of the tournament goes. Those averages will go up. Start getting the feel for the tables because they can't really practice on the tables. Well, they'll start slowing down as well a little bit. The tables will, uh, you know, uh, will break in. Correct? Uh, if they keep them, if they keep them clean a couple times a day, Oh, they're going to clean them after every match, every day. Oh. They don't They don't play around here. They keep these tables very clean. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that's a common practice in most player tournaments. That looks good. Oh, yeah. Dead on. <coughs> Yeah, you can reverse this out of the, go off the right side of the yellow and come reverse two rails out of the corner for the red here. I think he likes that. It's a natural shot. Unnatural reverse, but that's what he's looking at. Wow. I don't, I don't like this shot. <laughs> it's not easy. Uh, <laughs> the, the red ball is smaller than you think when a cue ball comes off that short rail. This is like a backup shot, right? Is yep. that what you're saying? Yep. Oh, I see. Yeah. Look at this. He just made right that right right look so yeah. easy. That was right out of the money. Uh, nice speed. Die at the red ball. That was safe. That was safe if he didn't hit it. a four railer here too around the table you might get five rails out of it oh another kiss there no he got out of wow. it wow <laughs> wouldn't you know it no, it's close that's what you just call a good shot anyway uh, just missed that kiss twice he did didn't he <laughs> Craig will make this one. He's, Craig's going to put a little run together here. I have a feeling. There he shot. No, down. no, not. Yeah, he, he, he didn't. He didn't. 
punched that shot. He stroked oh it. He goodness. shot it and, and got a real true roll on it. No loop in the ball. Perfect speed. Four railer here too. I like the left side of the white ball here. Oh, watch this. This is gonna be different. Yeah, four rails off the left side. It's long. Oh, and he didn't hit it though. A long. Little. <laughs> Just a little long. <laughs> a little. <laughs> Half a millimeter. The acoustics in here right now are real nice. They sure are. Oh. This is by far my favorite venue to, to do an event oh, at. It's beautiful. Mm. The lighting is perfect. Uh, it's just everything is uh, everything is just perfect. very, very, very serene in here. No matter what you got going on. Well, he had to stretch that tight neck corner. He had to get really down the tail. Oh, the way he shot that was a stretch. Oh, Craig, Craig's got. Uh, James is even laughing right now about I'm why he even tried that shot. Why did I even shoot that shot? He's saying to himself. <laughs> this is like a cookie for uh, Craig. <laughs> James gave him a biscuit. Now the only problem is, is uh, Craig is right-handed. <laughs> or I'm sorry. Bang. Oh, boom! He's a uh, he's. Uh, He's going to probably tuck this two rails up on the left side of the red ball. He likes this shot. He made it the last time he shot it. He's looking at the right side of the red, but uh, that's that's a little harder. He'll, he'll draw this with low right English. And no, he's not. He's hit it. Look at this. Another way to skin the cat. Goes easy off the right side. <laughs> well, he fooled us. Or me. Nice shot. There's yeah. two. Yeah. I know. I, t I told you. I, James James felt uh, okay, James bad, looked, bad for him. James just looked over at the score sheet again. <laughs> Dropping oh, in. Wow. And look, it's oh, just short. Oh, that was such a good try. He makes that one. He's I think the speed maybe killed him on that shot, didn't Yeah. Could be. Yeah. But those are tough. Those ain't easy, them shots. Mm. How about this for tough? He's going to go back and forth. He's playing his, his favorite shot. No, he's coming three rails around. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Hit it great. He got four got the fourth rail and go. Nope. Look at this. This is another another chance. Yeah. Yeah. This is one Craig makes a lot. Make that shot a lot. He's got choice here. Come off the red or or the white. He's gonna go off the left side of the red. Yeah. Drop the this ball. Is down. A, this is a eighty oh, percent. Oh no. Yeah, he's not happy. Uh, I had to jinx him, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> the commentators jinx. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just pumping him. I'm making him look making him look bad so that uh, we can get him some action. Well it's seventeen to fourteen <laughs> right now, you know. Seventeen to fourteen, that's it's tight. It's a tight match. That's only three points. And Craig creeping in every turn. He's getting one or two now. He's not got any dry spells. You really, really need to do that. You just need to get a one billiard when you get up there. 
Maybe two, but one each time you shoot. It's psychologically really important to not go five or six <coughs> innings without scoring. That's, that really wor wears on your brain. Hit it pretty nice. Yeah, better and pretty nice. How about perfect? Perfect works in this game real well. Here's that little that stun shot, maybe off the right side of the red, that he hit so well. Yeah. Stun, yeah, stun yeah, it, uh -huh. spin that cue ball over uh -huh. the long rail and then up the table. He likes it. Yeah, but what's the smart shot here? Oh, gosh. Right side of the yellow. I think he's playing. He's playing that shot. He's yeah. playing right side of the yellow. It's a f it's a little bit bigger ball that way. Yeah. You don't like it. Well, at that stage too, you want to play smart. You know. Yeah, he might have been thinking a little defense there. Uh oh. Down here to comes Craig. Yeah, he's got either side of the red. He can hit here. Yeah. short. Yeah. Too bad this close, is close doesn't mean anything. No, it's definitely a, a game of a game of millimeters is three cushion. How about that last field goal in the Bears game? To, not to change the subject or anything. <laughs> doing doing. Up, yeah. Up. <laughs> I wish I had that instant replay on oh file. My, oh my God, Bears fans just got to just. Oh, I thought the Bears were going to do it this year. Perfect. Yeah, now he's getting close. Now he needs one. One more billiard. One more point. Well, he's looking at the kick shot. Coming off that red after three rails, and I think it's too steep to do that shot. Thank you. Oh, that little mind is working pretty good right now. Is he going to reverse off the left? Side I, the I like I like coming off the yellow. You come off the yellow with outside, come around the table, no? For a four railer on the yeah, three, just like on the red, gonna, just like that. He's going to reverse this cue ball and kind of get it going back and well, He's playing off, off the red. Yeah, he's going to play long rail, long rail, uh, short rail. He's got to be careful not to, not to, not that, to that's what he's looking hit, at. hit the, the red into the yellow. Yep, that's exactly what he's looking at. He wants to make sure he cuts it enough. So you got to give it a little extra left-hand spin, no, if you're going to do that. He doesn't like it. I like the yellow shot. I, I don't like any shot here. I really. like the yellow. Play off the yellow outside English. No? It's like a one pocket shot. Yeah. Okay, Judge. Look at this. Oh, 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 oh. No, the last one. Oh. <laughs> he almost got that. Luck <laughs> that last shot. Yeah. My goodness gracious. <laughs> Craig's got a smile on his face. Like, oh my god, the last point you're gonna do that. I see that a lot. They're both oh. smiling. Look yeah. at this. He's just <laughs> yeah. They love what they're doing. They love Craig just thrives on competition. Oh, they know. both do. Look at this. Here Get comes back in Craig. the game. Here we go. Fifteen. He's just gotta run. Five more. That's nothing. Last time I played Craig, he just brutalized me, <laughs> pounded everything. <laughs> he, he 25. So you play local to him as well, then? Is that correct? I, I've been down to Romance a few times, but it's a four-hour drive. Yeah. Go down and play pool for a day and drive eight hours. I, I don't know. Wow. I, I'm maybe not that dedicated. 
And there's a thing about driving around Milwaukee. Yes. It's 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 worse than downtown Tucson or driving the freeways down here on a busy weekend. Uh, it's, it's worse. Uh -huh. It's worse because of construction. The, the roads in Wisconsin are always under construction. Always. I have a good friend, Richard Daniel. He drives everywhere to go and play. He goes to Vegas all the time. He's and he lives in Big Bear, so he's just driving everywhere to go play. Uh-oh. This isn't good here. This could be curtains now. There's many ways to make this shot, and none of them are real hard. Not for somebody like James. Yeah. How are you going to skin this cat, James? Craig, Craig, look at him. He, he knows. Yeah. He knows what's going to happen next. Very possibly. This is one more shot, Gimme. At this point, that's all you're asking for. One more turn. Uh, no. That's history, no. Nice yeah, shot. He's getting up. Nice shot. Yeah. Good game for James. Good game. They're such good friends. Yeah. Well, Robert. Thanks for spending time hey, with us here. Thank you. And you know, you're welcome to come back anytime. Well, the next time. Uh, Robert Hovick, uh, ladies and gentlemen. gentlemen. Uh, okay, thanks a lot. No, 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 you were going to say, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, the next time I, I actually know, uh, you know some of the players uh, that are playing, especially this time, playing. Well, precisely, each other. that's what you. you know, two Wisconsin players. Just did for us now. Yeah. Matter of fact, I'll tell you who's next. <laughs> We might have to put I, you on the I, payroll, I, sir. I have to play pretty soon. <laughs> so, you know, I think some things are more important. <laughs> Stand by. Well, this is a great setup you have here. Oh, thank you. Yes, thank just you. appreciate that. Beautiful. Everything about this tournament, just the way it's run, the people who organize it, the casino. Yeah. The yeah. setting, the tables. There isn't, this, there isn't anything I can find fault with. Not that I want to try, but I'm not yeah. sure who's next on this table. Yeah, clean that table. Yeah. Here we go. Clean so once again, wiping thanks down. everybody not for vacuum it, but gonna wipe it. <laughs> thanks for everybody for tuning in. <laughs> you just watched uh, Craig Powers and uh, James Richards. Thank you to Robert Hovick for uh, stepping in and providing us some commentary. And uh, I want to wish you the best of luck in your uh, matches today. And uh, we'll have something for you shortly. Uh, they're probably going to announce the next match in about two seconds. So don't go anywhere, guys. We've got another match coming for you shortly. Thanks to everybody for uh, watching. Please share and let everybody know we're here for the next week live from Casino del Sol in Tucson, Arizona. Thanks a lot.